Hey everybody, what is going on? It is Izzo33, bringing you another episode of Will It Work? <laughs> Today, we're going to be looking at Gunslingers. Now, this class relies on, if you can't tell, guns to kill things, and it has three tiers to the actual class. There's a two champion one, a four champion, and then a six champion. Now, at two champions, gunslingers have a 50% chance to fire an extra attack. At another enemy, it's a random choice in enemy, and that can actually be doubled at four characters. As at four characters, you still have the 50% chance, but you can obviously fire at two targets instead of the additional one. Now, with Gunslinger's max upgrade, you have a 50% chance to fire three additional targets. Now, these targets do have to be in the range of your Gunslinger, so take that into account when you build your characters. Now, let's run down every champion in the Gunslinger's class. Starting with the one-cost characters, we do have Graves and Tristana. So first off, Graves is a pirate gunslinger who has no ultimate ability. His only class trait is that he has a shotgun that already fires at multiple targets, and when he's buffed by the gunslinger bonus, he in a sense gets to fire an, ex an extra shotgun shot at multiple targets. This works extremely well with the gunslinger classes. You want a hit as many targets at once, killing them as quick as possible. Moving on, we have Tristana. She is a Yordle gunslinger who has got an ultimate unlike Graves, in the sense that she puts an explosive charge on her target and she needs to fire four shots onto that target in order to make the explosive charge explode or wait about five seconds for it to blow up on its own and do a lot of damage to multiple targets in the vicinity of the explosive charge. Moving on to the two cost champions, we have Lucian. Lucian is a noble gunslinger who has a fairly decent ultimate. This ultimate allows him to dash away from targets or towards them, fire an extra two shots at a target, one of them can also be classed as magical damage, and honestly allows him to do considerably more damage than the other two counterparts just named. Moving on to the three cost gunslinger, we have a fairly unique gunslinger in the sense that, that his normal auto attack isn't a shot from his gun, it is instead a swipe from his sword. This gunslinger is Gangplank and his ultimate requires him to set up a chain of barrels which he gets by gaining more and more mana until he finally shoots his gun and blows up the entire explosive cask chain. His class is Pirate, Blademaster and Gunslinger and he is all around fairly powerful in the sense that he has a high amount of burst damage. Moving on to the four cost Gunslinger, we have a Hextech Gunslinger in the form of Jinx. Now Jinx is another Gunslinger who does not have an ultimate but instead has an ability called Get Excited, and Get Excited basically works as every kill she's involved in, she gains a bonus. At kill 1, she gains attack range and attack speed. At kill 2, she gains Roquetas. This can work extremely well with attack speed items as well as attack range items, Plus, by running Gunslingers, you're obviously getting that extra attack, meaning more targets are going to be hit by Jinx, increasing the amount of takedown she does get. And finally, we have the last Gunslinger. This is going to be a pirate Gunslinger called Miss Fortune. I guess you could say this episode is going to be a will at work for pirates as well, as... Graves, Gangplank, and MF are all pirates, so you obviously are going to get the pirate bonus from this set. And 
Also, the gunslinger bonus. Now, MF is an extremely well-rounded gunslinger in the sense that she has a fairly decent ult that charges quite quick for what it does. In a sense, she fires her normal ultimate from League of Legends at a massive AoE range that does a lot of damage over time. In the recent patch 9.16b, her ultimate damage went up, so we should be seeing a bit more damage come out of this MF. Now, with this all in mind, we're going to be looking to build a bit of attack speed and range onto these gunslingers, because we do want to be avoiding melee range from a lot of champions. With this in mind, let's jump straight into the game. Start recording now, and click find match and still talk to you, because I'm not in the persona yet, of talking to people. Because obviously, see, when I do normal games, like this is Teamfight Tactics, normal, not ranked. I'm just gonna be chill. Hence why I do the will at works in this. And not in actual ranked. But, uh, we're loading in. And, oh, there's a hush tail in this game, Freya. See, Freya. Hello. Yeah. There's only two types of hush tail that I ever see. The Miss Berry one and the uh, default green one. I never see any of the other color ones. If you want me muted, you can meet me. Wow. I'm just saying. So mean to me. How am I mean? I'm just scared. Because you're being lazy. Well, I'll tell you this I'm at 75% game load. Okay, so we're loading into the game here. There isn't really anything useful for our gunslinger lineup. So I guess we'll take this early spatula, because that can build into a hurricane, which is very good for any sort of gunslinger comp. So, we're not going to keep this Varus at all. He isn't very good for us. And gunslingers as a whole, do you like to get wide amount of damage? And the perfect I and ideal items are quite... Easy, I guess, to say for certain champions. So, like, Graves, we want, obviously, Red Buff. Because he has that shotgun shot, it does tend to mean that he's going to fire big bursts of damage and hit multiple targets with just a normal auto. So, obviously, you want something that will give him this sort of burn damage to actually kill him. Tristana, you've got options here. You can obviously put Rage Blade, you've obviously got Static Shiv, and then maybe IE as your three items on her. Which I guess is very good. In fact, I'm going to do that. You then move up to the likes of Jinx. Again, Rage Blade is exceptionally good on her. Same with Static Shiv, because you want to hit multiple targets. Plus, there's also Hurricane, which is why we've taken the spatula, because we can make an, extra hur an actual Hurricane. But we do actually get here a Static Shiv, which is immediately being chucked onto our Tristana here. As we look at the rest of the game, there is... Wow, he lost round one. I forgot to unlock my shop. So, I'm going to reroll... I'm just going to pick up this Camille. We should be able to beat this. We have enough damage. Trish should easily carry us through this. If not, whoops. <laughs> anyway. We look here. Trish does 800 damage to Wave 2. Which is 3 minions. She's going to do a bit more now that she has a Static Shiv. So, it should be a little more interesting, these minion waves.
yeah. Anyway, there's a Titanic Hide uh, part in the Giant's Belt, which also is good on the Gangplank and the Graves. Plus, you can give us a part for Red Buff, and we like Red Buff. There is our Graves. We can now sell this Camille. And basically, now we're going to sit here with. Two Gunslinger, obviously giving us the Gunslinger buff, and a Static Shift level 2 Tristana. Now, we're sat in a fairly decent spot, and we don't want to really be leveling up, whereas everyone else around us probably wants to be leveling up. And that is good for us. So... Currently, we've actually managed to get onto the backline. Well, the guy killing our backline. However, we haven't killed his Karzigs, who's got all and the BF Sword. So, yeah, he's going to take us down. He has a BF Sword on us. Uh, I don't know why he's got that on his bench. But we do manage to get ourselves a GP, which is fairly good early game, especially for a Gunslinger comp. And we also get two more Triss in our shop. That does mean we have two level 2 Triss. Literally stage 2-2. Two, two, which I'm actually shocked we have. Anyway, with this in mind, we can start to contemplate what we do next with our team. And as we come up against the guy second to last, who's running Nobles... Oh boy, oh, howdy, I love nobles. We do manage to beat him, I think. We might not win, actually. We've definitely not won. Nobles are annoying. But we're going to struggle later on in the game if we don't get the power. Because our team does lack... A lot of damage. Well, I wouldn't say damage. I'd say defensive stats. Like, the most bulky boys in this lineup is going to be the GP and the Graves. The rest of the team are probably going to be quite squishy and prone to dying, I would say. So, we need to be firing out as much damage as possible as quickly as possible. So, in a sense, this is going to be a very heavy burst comp. And I like burst comps, because that does mean that we get to avoid glacials quite heavily. As they're not able to freeze us before we actually kill them. So, let's load into the carousel phase of the game. We're going to hope for a gangplank... Maybe even a Lucian, or another Trist, or a Graves. They're really the only things we can get in this shop. Shop carousel. And nothing useful again. So we've got to look at what there is. There's obviously two recurve bows. No recurve bows. There is a BF sword. As well as an armor. There's no BF sword. So, what we want here is the armor. And... More than likely, we actually are going to get it. That does mean we can put a red buff onto either our gangplank or our graves. More than likely, it's going to be on the graves. Burn damage on graves is extremely high. And we like that with this team comp. So... We're going to get another Trist here. We're going to sell this Shen. Reroll again. And again. And again. And get nothing else. But we can put this onto our Graves. Give him a bit more health and some armor. Obviously make him take less damage from our attacks. Which is going to be exceptional. We are actually very close to an early level 3 Tristana. And the Shotgun Blast obviously has hit three characters already, giving them burn, which is great for us. 
the shotgun doing wonders here. And there's the gangplank all. Timing was perfect there. It hit every character that was alive. And also the burn from Graves did a lot of work there. If we look at the stats here. Graves got more damage done than the gangplank. And is cheaper. As well as... Honestly, I wouldn't class better than Gangplank, considering Gangplank is known for doing a lot of damage. The long the fight goes, I guess, is a way to put it, as he gets to fire off them barrel chains. As we scroll through our shop now, we do get offered our Lucian, which we're going to take. Obviously, we can use that to get ourselves more board presents, like if we take off one of the Triss and put the Lucian on it, we do get tier 2 Gunslinger buff. Now, with that in mind, we're either going to hope that we get a win here so we can unlock our shop immediately, or keep our shop locked and just get lucky. Because right now, we're not going to win this. We were fairly close. This does have rapid fire cannon, which I don't get why. It would be better to have rage blade on it. But, hey, -oh. like you could have made rage blade because I can see the recurve bow and a needlessly large rod. <laughs> uh, oh well, it's more for him than anything. So we're gonna buy you. Buy that, because that does mean the level 3, which is exceptionally good right now. Obviously, with that in mind, we can put the solution on the board without any trouble and get tier three, 2 Gunslinger Roll. Now, Trist here should be able to beat this wave. Although we only have the one character above level 2, or level 2 at least. It's going to be interesting, to say the least, for the rest of the game. Because we're in la we ha lack, I guess, the health in this team comp. And coins, I guess, does help in a sense that it does get us a higher chance of obviously leveling up our team. Which, I guess, I can't complain with. I would much rather have got... Another spatula, because the more the merrier in any sort of team comp. And with this team lacking any sort of front line, I would really like that. Nevertheless, we do manage to level up our graves here. And get another two little faces in our shop. Maybe a third? No. We sit quite healthily here. We're in 4th, but we're still above 90 HP, and that is good. We come up against the demons who have got a Lulu. Eesh. This guy is actually burning. He burnt out from the actual... Uh... Graves. The Graves did a lot of work there. Even though Triss is the one to get the most damage because of the static shiv procs as well as basically having the most health on our team and can just fire from a, a lot further distance than the rest of them. She's... He still did a lot of work there for us. Anyway, as we get into a new level, we can obviously buy this Lucian, stick this Graves onto the board, and then worry about the rest of our team comp because <laughs> right now we've got five characters on the board tier two gunslinger buff and no jinx and no mf we're coming up on the third carousel phase and i do believe level five start dropping in this phase which does mean we could maybe get an mf as we hit a four-man flamethrower that is very good. Because if you don't realise, Red Buff also does nullify healing. So, coming up against Nobles and 
champions that provide buffs like Lulu kind of get nullified, in all honesty, which is good. So if I... See, I'm a little confused here. Does Shrink Shot and Red Buff nullify the amount of the heal that you get from shrinking a target? Or am I being an idiot? I want to try that out. But it's going to be a hard thing to actually get. Ah, well. So, let's survey the game phase. That's the second level 3 I in the game, and it's come by the Hushtail in 7th. And I don't really care too much. This guy does have Blade Masters, Wild. He actually has a lot of damage, as far as I'm aware. But if he's able to get it, I do not know. We're hoping for some good procs, which we're not going to get, of the Gunslinger buff. We were close to actually winning that, actually. He almost lost. And welcome to TFT, where people ping and you can't mute pings. But uh, we look in this shop, nothing, no, nothing useful. I mean, we could start to build maybe a another red buff for the GP, but there isn't anything else. Like, we could take a TF to get a BF sword, but when I was going to, yeah, we're not going to get that. I guess we can either take the Kali or the... I'm going to take the Akali. Negatron Cloak is actually really good in all consideration here. Because if we do manage to get a BF Sword, that means we get a Bloodthirster, which means a bit more sustain onto our G backline. So we're going to sell this Akali. I'm sorry. Actually, we could make a Hurricane. That isn't even a bad shout. That was the reason why I wanted it. Not because I wanted to be an idiot. But we're going to put this onto our trist. She needs more damage. She is our current big boy damage dealer. I mean 5k damage in the last round. Let's just watch this damage chart this round. And I can tell you it's probably going to say trist did the most. Yeah, I it's actually, I was going to say fairly close, but no it wasn't, Trist swamped the graves once, once she was the last one alive anyway, because Graves was leading up until he died basically. So we're going to get another Lucian here. Put us one step closer to another level 3. And we're also going to have now two level 2 graves. That is always a good sign as we're now even more closer to a level 3. But we look at this, the damage. Yeah, this Lucian's not got much love from me. He's kind of being marooned, I guess would be the term to say. But um, we're going to put our team a little better, protecting this Trist a little more, meaning she gets to fire in a bit more and do a bit more damage. Because right now, she's honestly just being kind of a bit more hit than what she should be. As you see here, she gets to fire in a bit more. Anyway, this guy's getting to roam around my board and it's taking an interest to this level 2 Lucian. Okay, so as we hit Wolf Camp, we're in need of some big boys. And that Gangplank couldn't have come at any more perfect time, as that gives us a bit more of a frontliner. And I like frontliners in a full gunslinger comp. So, what we're looking for in this for Wolf Camp to drop is 
I don't know, pretty much more damage. That's all we really need. And that is more damage. Obviously, we can put a Negatron Cloak and this together to make Ionic Spark. But, and this is a huge but, because it's me. I do like Gangplank. And Gangplank can provide a very big ult that blows up a lot of things. And I'm going out on a limb here and hoping he does. Because I don't want to put all my trust into the Triss to kill everything. Because that can't be happening. Gangplank needs to be starting to get his kills off. Because he's honestly at his level 2. He starts to become a lot more of a threat here. I say that as he's dead. However, he didn't do much damage at all either. Graves is carrying this sort of team with the Trist, which worries me. Even though we are sat in third on a bad amount of health, I wish it was one more. Hugh Hugh. We are closing in on another level 3. We need one more Graves to get the level 3 Graves. We also need two more Lucians in order to get the level 3 Lucian. Now, with that in mind, we also need to start hunting our Jinx. Because these bad boys rely on something like a Jinx in order to provide constant damage and threat to... Any sort of team, I guess. As my gunslingers fire in a lot of damage. That's the sort of damage we're wanting from our gangplank, though, ladies and gentlemen. He got to fire off his barrel chain and do considerable amounts of damage. Wow. Even though the guy had a Shen, which I was actually surprised about. So we're going to reroll here and reroll again. No. Graves, which I'm shocked about, because Graves usually appears a lot for me. And once we get that Graves, we can actually start buying XP. Which would be very nice for us. We also do have this Negatron Cloak, which I don't know what to use it for yet. Probably the BF Sword combination to make Bloodthirster. But... This guy is similar to me. He has got five characters on the board. He has demons. The one issue for his team is my team does more damage and doesn't need to mana really to do that damage, even though he nearly beats us. So, with that in mind, we go to our fourth carousel. And in this, we can actually get level fives. Or five cost characters, and we want the MF or a Jinx, maybe. But because we're sat in second, this MF is definitely not going to us. So we've got to take the second fiddle and get the Lucian. If we can't get a Lucian, oh well. We're not going to get a Lucian. Which probably means that Draven becomes a priority. More than anything, actually. Draven should be a big priority for anyone. That spatula is going to be huge. And we're now getting nothing. So, I want this. I didn't get that. I want this, then. We're going to make a Dragon Claw. That's more anger than anything right there. But, yeah. It's still a good item. As we do manage to get a gangplank. And that's it. Okay, so. Our frontliners do need a bit more protection. And gangplank. He, he doesn't like magic damage. So he's going to live a little bit longer. In order to pop them barrels. And that's fine by me. Especially coming up against glacials. Ooh. I don't like 
glacials, as well as I don't like nubles, as that barrel chain did a lot of damage. Wow. T-pose. I saw the T-pose. <laughs> oh my. Riot, please. But, uh, I've been contemplating what's being added into TFT next, and that is a jinx. Oh, baby. That's also another gangplank. I'm going to sneak you onto the board right now. Yes, I'm trading in Graves for a jinx. Don't hate me. Jinx is good. <laughs> it feels like every Will It Work video, I've used the jinx. <laughs> That's terrible. Oh, I didn't realize I could have kept him on. Ah, well. And that's why you don't put that onto the team. And there goes our Jinx. And there goes this guy's entire team comp. Yeah, he lost quite badly. But we're still chilling in second. We've extended gap between second and f between second and third. Even though second now lost and we're gonna keep searching for this graves not much more we can do I mean in theory this is the best thing we you should do and we come into chickens with I guess enough damage to in order to kill it before they get anywhere near killing us so I'm gonna do that actually because that provides him a bit more protection with his shotgun. So it hits a bit wider because the burst goes further out. However, he's just decided to walk out into the entire chickens like a mad lad. And we get coins. I never knew you could get coins off chickens. Like, I figured you could. And I never get them. So we get six coins for that. I mean, I'm not complaining. But it's definitely... And I mean definitely not good for us so we're gonna spend all these coins looking for that graves or Lucian and I'm taking my time there's Lucian which is good that does mean we've got two level twos uh, threes now and honestly we can start to look to strengthen the damage output here so we can what so this round, we're going to watch the actual damage output here. This guy has a Blademaster S comp going up against a Gunsling comp. Obviously, we want to know how much damage each of these do. And I can tell you, he's going to kill us quite quickly. Like, you look at the damage done. Barely anything by half our team. Triss was the only one who really got damage off and... Look how low the health bars on a lot of his team are. Yeah. Gangplank did fairly nothing there. Which I'm actually shocked about. So. We're going to scroll through our shop here. Hope for the graves to appear randomly. If not, oh well. If yes, woohoo. So. Let's actually watch this round to see which character does more damage. As another guy hits a level 3. It's the Hushtail. Is that his second? Oh well. So this guy does have a level 2 Jinx. Which obviously is going to be really hard for us to kill. Especially when... Ours is only level 1, and quite honestly, it's going to die here. We got fairly lucky to actually kill that many targets, but it was kind of obvious he was going to win that round. He does have Void, and Void do a lot of work. Anyway, there is our Gangplank to get a another level 2 Gangplank. Which I'm probably going to check. 
and change for the level one. One, two graves, chuck him on. I like how his first question was, how am I first lol? I have so many level ones. Yeah, that volley bed kind of indicates why he's winning. And this is a win for us. Which does mean I can unlock my shop. Because we get what we want from this actual bench. It's kind of lucky. Anyway, that guy is complaining how he's level 1. What, winning? He's got a level 3. He has a bloodthirster. And I don't know what I want here. I mean, BF Sword would be nice, which means I'd probably take the Anivia. Spirit Surgeon's even better, actually. Alright, I'm going to take this Anivia. It's BF Sword. Obviously, we need the damage, especially with this team comp. And I'm going to stick that onto our Trist. <laughs> I mean, it's the smartest thing to do, considering she's our main killer. And... Bye bye, Anivia. Wow, we're getting so unlucky with this hunt for a graves. Like, one more graves and we're in a very good state because then it means that this level 2 isn't going to waste and I can actually have a bit more fun commentating this game. Because right now we're sat in second out of the five. And honestly, we should be a lot higher. I mean, yes, we're doing fine right now. We didn't kill this Folly Bear, which is actually going to be a problem for us. All things considered. But... We're still golden. There is a Jinx, which is good, I guess. Our shop rerolls haven't gone to waste this time, like every other time. <laughs> and the guy in first, let's actually analyze his team. So he's got Brawlers and a Jinx. His Volley Bears basically is broken thing, because that Rapify means he's staying out of the combat. And he can heal up pretty much everything. As we face him again. He also has a Hexite buff. Nice. I mean. I'm glad I'm against him again. Two times in a row. And that basically takes me out of contention of winning. Straight to the bottom of the lead. Oh wait no. I'm not bottom of the leaderboard anymore. But that's... So we look at what we've just been given in our dragon fight. Let's look at everyone else. He gets Sorcerer. That don't help him. IE is very good for this guy. Gun. Yeah, I wish I got a Rage Blade there. And another Sorcerer. We got probably the third best out of five. Considering the two below us got a Sorcery thing. So extra magic damage, I guess. But this does mean we get to heal. Obviously, with the Graves here, if he lands a shot, that heal's basically useless. Yes, it is. Now, we come down to w if we can actually beat this. Because I don't think we do. We don't. So, we're now going to struggle. Because we lost to Dragon. <laughs> uh, this is going to be a killer round. And yes, ladies and gentlemen, still no. Oh, that is really depressing. I'm going to stick you on. Don't ask why. I'm going to put you over here. More so as a distraction. Because like him, we can obviously lure him away. We get Steron. Perfect. I 
I do believe this is a win for us. All things considered. Yep, this is a win. Very lucky win, but it's a win. Because that poppy did a lot of work for him. And we're still alive. Come on, game. You know you want to give me... You know you want to give me... I hate it when the game does that, where it literally only re-rolls two slots in a shop. Like, everything else is exactly the same, and it's annoying. So, if we can avoid this guy again, like, not face him two times in a row, or avoid him completely... Okay, we're against a guy who's in an elimination spot like us. Ooh. I haven't faced this guy, actually. As far as I'm aware. And, yeah, he's gonna win. Ouch. Well, that's kind of the strength of gunslingers. I'm on their own. It's not the best. Why is he saying GG? I mean, I let's analyze everyone else what they had. Brawlers wild. He also had a lot of level threes, and this guy had brawl. Well, knights, assassins, knights and assassins. I don't get that combo really. Like, what does that. How does that benefit you? Knights are there to protect against such and such. And assassins aren't really the thing you want to be protecting. Like, you basically are saying, hey, look at me. I don't have a front line. I don't have a back line. Like, you basically saying, I don't want to play. Or try and win. And that is a very odd thing to say. But as the game actually ends, we can have a look at the end screen here. And yeah, the top guy brawlers and then just a randy scandy jinx. No apparent reason. Just, I guess, for damage. I mean, it does give you hex tech books to buff. But... Honestly, of all the teams, I thought this guy would win. I mean, he has the three level threes. We lacked the Graves level three, which we wanted so bad, but never got. But that's going to be the video. If you enjoyed this, subscribe if you're new around here. Leave a like down below, and I'll see you guys. Hey. Pardon me. Let's redo that outro. If you enjoyed this... Subscribe if you're new around here, leave a like down below, and I'll see you guys later. Push.